Jacobson from the Cougar women's basketball team. Taylor was named to the CIT All-Tournament team this weekend down in Nebraska. Taylor, before we get to talking about CIT, we can remind everybody a little bit about yourself. Uh, Taylor Jacobson from Aurora, Illinois. I went to West Aurora High School. Uh, junior here at CUC, my major is exercise science. CIT is always a special time for any of the Concordias involved with CIT. Talk about the experience of CIT in Nebraska outside of the basketball. Yeah, no, it's really cool because the crowds are so big and it's really nice to have like our team vibe off of that, so it's really exciting. And I thought that the Nebraska did a fantastic job hosting. Concordias all came out, even us at River Forest had a good fan bus that came out. Just what's it like to be in that kind of atmosphere to play basketball on that stage? Um, it's really cool because, I mean, we don't really get that chance as much here to have all those crowds of people. So it's definitely different and exciting, and it just, like, it just makes you want to go really hard, to be honest. And now you guys are in a position going into this week. Magic numbers one for clinching a playoff berth, and I know that was the first goal. You guys have greater goals now. How do you guys kind of build off of that and use CIT as a learning experience playing in those kind of high-pressure situations? Yeah, I mean, definitely was not the way we wanted the weekend to go. Of course, we want to win, but I mean, learning from that, it's those are the teams we played are two phenomenal teams, and we have to give the respect to them. So it just made us a better team, I think, this weekend, and kind of gave us a perspective that um, you know we've been winning a lot, but we have a long way to go. And I think that if we just keep going with where we were before CIT and just pick up and learn from what CIT that this last weekend was, then I think that we'll end up coming up and doing what you do. Where do you think the team is at mentally this year? And I think that you guys have come on really strong and as a group just clicking on all cylinders at certain points. How do you continue to not settle as a team and just kind of go in that lull and say, if we're that close and keeping up the energy to say, we can still have the home game because you guys are in full control. Yeah, um, mentally, I just think we all, we all just want to win. Like, I, I don't think there's one girl on the team that would disagree with that. And I think that's what's really going to get us where we need to be because we all have the winner's mentality. And I think that we all know in our hearts, like, really, if we wanted to and if we play like how we've been playing, we're playing like a championship team caliber. So I think we can do what we, you know, are setting out to do with our goals and possibly get a home court advantage. And I think it, you said it best right when we were talking off camera. CU Dub has gotten the best of you guys twice, but yet you still are talking with the confidence that whoever is going to go out in front of you in these remaining NAT games coming up, you guys are real, really willing and able to step up to the challenge. Oh yeah, I don't. We're not just going to give the game to anybody. I mean, we're not just going to give it away. We're gonna if we're going to lose, we're going to lose working our butts off and whatever that is, whatever the result of that is. As long as we can look in the mirror at the end of the day, know we did whatever we can. Well, you've been here so many times. We've run out of rapid fire. But regardless, congratulations on your all-tournament team. That's a big nomination for CIT. Keep up the good work, and I guess I'll have to work for more questions for <laughs> round number five if we can get you here. For sure. Thank you.